Hmm. Hey, wait. Hey, what's going on, y'all? So I want to kind of harp on something a little bit. Um, putting your dogs in an ideal situation. Putting them in ideal situations, right? Now, if you know you're going to hunt with your dog, you need to have that dog in hunting situations. Just and you could start by walking through the woods. See, and I could be wrong. This all this stuff is just based on what I think is right. Somebody else may know a little more than me, but we going I'm just going over what I think is right, right? So with mine, with my new pups that I'm gonna train for for catch dogs, hunting, stuff like that, I feel like I'm gonna start with just walking them through the woods. I'm going to start by walking them through the woods, getting them introduced to, to predators, getting them introduced to a lot of different forms of wildlife in order to get out there and make it do what it do. So a long, long runs won't be nothing if that dog already been conditioned for that. So I'm just out here, you know, we're going to do this little running thing. And I this right here is equivalent to suicides. And I love doing suicides. reason why I love doing these is because I know that I could get a lot in less time. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like going to failure. I can get a lot in less time. Now, if I got out here and just walked really slow, you know, you're going to get some results. You're going to get what you want, but I don't want the dog to become used to low energy. I want the dog to get used to high pace. I want the dog to get used to being in stressful situations or or situations that's going to require her not to give up so what i'm gonna do is we finna get down to it now watch i'm gonna get a lot in less get that ball she gone you can zoom in on her when she running out like that that way it give get a people at, go get that ball. Go get that ball. Go get that ball. Go get that ball. That ball. Bring it back. I feel like she ain't listening. She just know to go get the ball. Go get the ball. Get that ball. Bring it back. All right. Sit. 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 <laughs> sit. <laughs> sit. All right. Sit. Sit, 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 sit. <laughs> All right, go get that ball. And another thing I, I really don't like about doing this is because a lot of times when I do this, it's so easy for this dog to get injuries on the paw pads because them nails be digging into the ground. And, you know, it's just scary for a dog on, especially when you don't want to spend no money with the vet like that anyway. Sit. 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 Go get that ball. See. See, when I hear it breathing like that, there's a lot of wind hitting that, hitting the back of that mouth. Hey. And you, when she chew on balls like that, sit. See, I know that treadmill been working. Sit. Sit. I know that treadmill been working. Because she ain't. Ah, 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 ah. Sit. 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 <laughs> sit. <laughs> sit down. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to hit the ball. Eggs real focused, extremely focused, man. I like how she controlling her breaths too. I really like how she controlling her breathing. Sit, sit, sit. I like how she controlling her breathing. And see, that's what you want. 
You want for that dog to be able to control that breathing. Know when to turn it up. Know when to bring it down. I really like that. Sit. Sit. I really like that, y'all. See, I want to give a little little brief breaks in between. Because if you just keep hitting that ball, man, you're going to wear your dog completely out. Your dog going to be exhausted. And it just won't be good, man. You don't want to exhaust them. Don't do, don't make the mistakes I made. And I don't mind sharing my mistakes with y'all because I done made a lot of them and I still do. But don't exhaust your dog, man, because that's the worst thing. It make, it just makes them get to a point, and they might not do it out the gate, but at some point, whenever they doing what you want them to do, they're going to stop because they they got that bad, they got that bad um experience with you exhausting them. And you see how she that that breathing it it, it isn't so labored. It's just kind of she's kind of controlling it. And I like that. But what I don't like is for this dog to be overexerted. I don't want the dog to be overworked. I done done it, and y'all better believe every word I'm telling you. Overwork them dogs if you want to. Overwork them dogs if you want to. Let me tell you something about overworking. Let me tell you something about overworking. Overworking destroys, it'll start with the mind. Because you might be thinking the dog is good. Oh, she good, she good, she good. But if you don't pay attention to that dog, if you ain't got no idea as to what to look for, if the dog just breathing heavy, heavy breathing and just sitting down, the first time they sit down, it's time to stop. You know what I'm saying? Now, right now, she's just answering. Sit. But when y'all see that, they go get the ball, bring it back and sit down. You know it's time to stop. Sit. Sit. That's why I like to give little brief breaks in between, and then I let her go again. Because, see, right now, sit. See, she ready to go. And you got to protect the dog from themselves because they'll just keep going like nuts. They will keep going. So you got to protect them from themselves. Don't get that ball. Oh, you brought it back. Sit. Sit. I like how she controlling that breathing. Sit. In between, in between rounds, y'all. So that's pretty much the point, man. Put your dog in the right situation. If you know your dog going to be hunting, put that dog in hunting situation. Get some at, at, get some um get some skins or something, some pelts or something that 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 whatever they hunting, she can smell, she they can go out there in the woods and smell. They can walk around in the woods, they can get acclimated to being in mud. You got to um Make sure you don't overwork them. You don't lose it with them. You know, you just, you just take your time. And some, some dogs are just so intense, man. It's, I mean, it's just the way it is. It's just the way they are. See now, you see right here? See, she's still controlling her breathing. It's not labored. At she controlling it. So I'm gonna hit this one more time, y'all, and we're gonna call it. So y'all, that's pretty much it. That's the message. Thank y'all for tuning into the channel. Y'all take care, y'all be easy, and we are out of here.